STEM is an acronym for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, which is acknowledged by United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. The need for STEM education in the socioeconomic development of a country cannot be overemphasized. Unfortunately, African countries lag in STEM education outputs compared to the rest of the world. In Ghana, although some STEM schools are operational and others still under construction, there are still challenges. The almost total absence of classroom experiments do not help. In class, it's more of theoretical. Or STEM, it provides all what you've learned, that is in science and technology, in a way that I can fully express your creativity and innovative thinking. These are compounded by other difficulties, such as inadequate infrastructure, gender stereotypes, and lack of funding. But the Education Ministry says some inroads have been made and that the current imagery of the education system is not the reality. We want to innovate our way out of poverty. And these are the critical skills that we inculcate into our learners through the STEM education policy that we are strongly and forcefully promoting. Quite recently, there have been some innovations by some students to solve everyday life challenges. An example is Efia Kobi Girls near High School in the Ashanti region, where students have invented an unmanned boat programmed to detect dead bodies in water sources. All these achievements have to be noticed globally to showcase Ghana's advancement. The challenge now is that lack of funding may impede student participation on the global stage. The seventh cohort of the first Global Robotics Challenge are in there, and it's actually the training mood camp for them. Achimota School is representing Ghana this year in Singapore. So let's go in there and see what they are building for the challenge. This is Team Ghana preparing for the 2023 first Global Robotics Challenge to be held in Singapore in October. The challenge is a yearly Olympic-style robotics competition aimed at promoting STEM education and careers for the youth. It took them more than five months to get here. With this year's theme being Hydrogen Horizons, Ghana's innovation extracts hydrogen from water as a source of renewable energy. But the efforts could be derailed because funding of $30,000 to support the seven-man team for the seventh edition of the Global Challenge is incomplete. I'm looking at the past. We end up having to build for some of these teams, but this particular team have built this robot from scratch all by themselves with a little guidance. We need approximately $30,000 to be able to take a seven-man team, that is five students and two trainers. With some few weeks to go, the dream of these students hang in the balance. We've been training for five months now. In case we don't get fans to go, we feel very, very sad. Because we want to show the world what we are capable of doing. Not all students get this opportunity to be here. So I'm hoping that we'll go and do our best. We sought a reaction from the Education Ministry. We all come on board. Now the minister has directed that we create a platform um, that, that is called STEM League. So under this platform, all these uh, players and key actors in the STEM space will, will, will get in. And then that way we'll be able to monitor. That way we can even spread it out for equity. And that way we can also scale it up and ensure that in the next few years, Ghana becomes a hub for STEM education in the sub-region. One thing remains clear. The approach to STEM education must be holistic and progressively adopt strategies at all levels. Ghana may make some remarkable gains when it comes to STEM education, but if challenges like lack of funding and sponsorship impedes our quest to even showcase our exploits globally, then we are on a ticking time bomb. George Quinn, TV3 News, Achimota.